this big warehouse, right? And they got all these AC ducts hanging from the ceiling and they got them hanging on threaded rod. And you're going, man, I'd like to get one of those, but do I really need a piece that's 20 feet long? No, you don't. Because they sell it in three, six, 10, and 12 foot lengths. But there's something else about threaded rod that I bet you didn't know because I just found this out. You can get it in low carbon, so it's not, it's strong, but you can't really go cranking on it because it will break. You can also get it in stainless steel, which is really cool in case you want to be fashionable like in the food industry. You've got stainless, th stainless steel threaded rod, but they also make what's called B7. Whoa, wanted to jump away. B7 is the equivalent to a grade five bolt. So this is some really hard stuff and it's good stuff. But here's the kicker. If you had an application that required like a grade eight threaded rod, you could actually get it made. Now it's not normally done, but you can get it. So you gotta remember that next time you're in there looking at this AC unit hanging 20 feet down from the ceiling in a 50 foot tall building. Hey, I know where that stuff came from. I know how it's made. If you need some stainless threaded rod and you don't know if it's stainless for sure, from the factory, they mark it with a blue tip. That way you know this piece of threaded rod is stainless. B7, on the other hand, they use a purple tip. That way you know what you're getting. Now, for you guys out there that have some really crazy applications, did you know that they made stick that they make threaded rod in three foot, six foot, 10 foot, and 12 foot lengths? So if you've got a big enough job, you can buy a 12 foot stick and cut it into pieces you need, saving waste, and you know, it's convenient. So that's what I would do. Check it out. Industrial Depot has a full line of threaded rod.